Wayne Gretzky holds 61 NHL records, and honestly, most of them will probably never be touched. And at one point, his career goal total of 894 was among those untouchable records. Because when you break it down, that's more than 22 straight 40 goal seasons, which is just absolutely absurd. But then came along a Russian machine, which seemingly never broke. That being Alex Ovechkin, who at the time of me making this video, sits just 67 goals away from tying Gretzky's record. Before this season started, it almost seemed like it was a mathematical certainty that Ovi would take the all-time goal-scoring crown considering he put up a ridiculous 42 goals last season at the ripe age of 37. A couple more seasons like that meant he would comfortably take over the goal-scoring lead from the great one, but his first 28 games so far this year leave a lot of question marks about how realistic the target is. He's off to the worst-ever start to a season in his entire career, putting up just five goals, two of which were empty netters. That puts him on pace for just 15 goals this year. His next worst goal-scoring season was his 33-goal campaign in 2017, so this would mark a significant drop-off for him. So what's going wrong? Is Ovi just washed all of a sudden, or is there an element of misfortune that's playing a role in this slow start for him? Let's take a closer look at the underlying stats. Ovi has always been incredible on the power play, tallying more than 37% of his 827 goals on the man advantage. He actually holds the NHL record for that, interestingly enough. But this season, he has been absolutely snake-bitten, scoring only one power play goal on 39 shots. That corresponds to a ridiculously low 2.6 shooting percentage. In contrast, his career shooting percentage on the power play is 14.4%, which is more than five times his shooting percentage so far this year. And he's still shooting the puck a lot, averaging more than 17 shots per 60 on the power play, which is fairly close to his career average of 19 shots per 60. And surprisingly, the quality of his shots is also better than last year, at least when you look at analytics. If you look at expected goals, he should be closer to four or five goals on the power play so far, which would look a lot better than his single power play goal through a third of the season so far. So at least when you look at analytics, his power play numbers should pick up during the coming weeks and months. But unfortunately for Ovechkin, his rough start to the season extends beyond just the power play. He has just one five-on-five -five goal this season, with an absurdly low shooting percentage of 1.7%. This is a guy whose career average is 11% at five-on-five. -five. It's clear that he misses a pass-first center alongside him. He's currently played most of his time on ice with Kuznetsov or Dylan Strom, both of whom have been taking more shots than usual and consequently playmaking less. But still, Ovi's volume shooting metrics seem to be in line with last season at the very least. He's still attempting more than 18 shots per 60 at even strength, which is in line with what he did last year. Overall, his expected goal model at all strengths puts him at 12 goals, which is seven more than he has so far this year. This seems to support that he's more than likely suffering from an unlucky streak of play rather than a complete fall off. But even if nothing else changes, other than his unlucky streak shooting wise, he could still easily end up with 25 goals this season, which would put him 47 away from the record. But at the rate he's going, those 47 goals might take at least two more seasons to achieve, which would mean that Ovechkin would need to put up a 20-plus goal season at the age of 40. It's doable for sure, but if this slow start to the season persists longer, the target may start to become unachievable. Politics aside, Ovi's been one of my favorite players growing up. Him and Crosby really did bring life back into the league in the mid-2000s. It's rare for two generational players to enter the league at the same time, let alone both surpassing the monumental expectations put on them. Do you think Ovi takes over Gretzky's record? Or do you think that one's safe given how poorly Ovechkin has started this season? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching.